In this video, we'll go over how you can use experimental results to rank oxidizing agents or reducing agents. An experiment is performed in which the four metals DY, BE, GD, and TI are combined with solutions of their cations, as shown here. Notice these are all nitrate compounds. Nitrate ions are spectators here, so it would be useful to discard the nitrates from the formulas and express these as cations. Nitrate is NO3 with a minus one charge, and DYNO32 has two nitrates. So its cation is DY2+. BENO32 also has two nitrates, so its cation is BE2+. GDNO33 and TINO33 both have three nitrates, so their cations are GD3+, and TI3+, respectively. So in reality, we're just combining each metal with each of these cations. Now when we consider two forms of the same element, for example DY and DY2+, the more positive form is the oxidizing agent, and the less positive or more negative form is the reducing agent. If we write a reduction half reaction involving these two species, like the ones on the reduction table, it will look like this with the oxidizing agent gaining electrons to form the reducing agent. So looking back at the question, the neutral metals are the reducing agents, and the four cations are the oxidizing agents. When the experiment is done, the following observations are made, and the results are recorded. The first observation is that BENO32 solution reacts spontaneously with DY metal. The second observation is that there is no reaction between GDNO33 solution and DY metal. And the third observation is that BE metal reacts spontaneously with the TINO33 solution. The question asks us to list the four oxidizing agents in order from strongest to weakest. We start by using the results to create a little reduction table. Like the big reduction table, we put the oxidizing agents on the left and the reducing agents on the right. Remember the rule is that any oxidizing agent on the left will react spontaneously with any reducing agent on the right below it. So now we can use the results of this experiment to build a little reduction table. Because Be2 plus is an oxidizing agent, we write it on the left. We don't know yet where the other species will be, so we leave some room above it and below it. Because BE2 plus reacts spontaneously with DY, and DY is a reducing agent, we write the symbol for DY somewhere below it on the right. At this point, we can complete half reactions for these two species. The reduction half reaction for BE is BE2 plus plus two electrons gives BE and the reduction half reaction for dy2 plus is dy2 plus plus two electrons gives dy. Now we'll look at the second result. It says there's no reaction between GDNO33 and dy. Remember GDNO33 is a source of the GD3 plus ion. So this statement tells us that because there is no reaction, dy does not react spontaneously with GD3 plus. Therefore, we write GD3 plus down here below the DY2 plus. And in this way, DY is above GD3 plus on the right, which is consistent with the fact that there's no spontaneous reaction between DY and GD3 plus. Now we can complete the reduction half reaction for GD3 plus. GD3 plus plus three electrons gives GD metal. Now looking down here at observation 3, it tells us that BE reacts spontaneously with TINO33 solution. Remember TINO33 is just a source of the TI3 plus ion. Therefore we can state that the metal BE reacts spontaneously with the cation TI3 plus. And we can indicate that in the table up here. By adding the TI3 plus ion on the left side above the BE on the right, like this. Remember, the rule is that TE3 plus will react spontaneously with any species below it on the right, and BE metal is below it on the right, 
So this is consistent with the fact that Ti3 plus reacts spontaneously with Be. Also remember, a reducing agent on the right will react spontaneously with any oxidizing agent on the left above it. So it also means that Be reacts spontaneously with Ti3 plus. Now we can complete the reduction half reaction for Ti3 plus. Ti3 plus plus three electrons gives Ti metal. At this point, we focus on the four oxidizing agents on the left side of the table. And like the big reduction table, the highest oxidizing agent on the left is the strongest. So in this case, Ti3 plus is the strongest of the four oxidizing agents. And GD3 plus is the weakest. The question wanted us to list the four oxidizing agents in order from strongest to weakest. So we can state that the four oxidizing agents listed in order from strongest to weakest are Ti3 plus is stronger than Be2 plus, which is stronger than Dy2 plus, which is stronger than Gd3 plus. So we can summarize by saying that the four oxidizing agents listed from strongest to weakest are Ti3 plus, Be2 plus, Dy2 plus, and Gd3 plus. Now in a different question, you may be asked to list the reducing agents in order from strongest reducing agent to weakest reducing agent. Recall that the strongest reducing agent is the lowest on the right side of the table, so in this case it's GD metal. And the weakest reducing agent is on the top right of the table, which in this case is TI metal. So the reducing agents listed from strongest to weakest are GD is stronger than DY, which is stronger than BE, which is stronger than TI. So we can now summarize by saying that the reducing agents listed in order from strongest to weakest are GD, DY, BE, and TI. You have now seen how we can use evidence from experiments involving redox reactions to create a small reduction table. We can then use this table to rank oxidizing agents and reducing agents in order from strongest to weakest. Music